Good morning, President and Warner, members of the board. Uh, my name is Anthony Forster. I'm the executive operator, uh, executive board officer for uh, Light Rail Transportation. Um, I'm here today to continue the conversation that Terrence was having. Last month, a lot of good words were said by you, by the board, by Mr. Kelsey. Um, that included inclusion. That included working with labor. That included seeking help from the people that have been here a long time. As of now, there has been zero inclusion. As of now, there has been zero input from labor, zero input from people that, have, that are actually knowledgeable of the rail system and how it works. Last month, Doug, both Doug, Kelsey, and Jay Jackson said that I'd be part of the meetings to make effective changes within the rail system. When I reached out to, to them to say that I did want to be a part of the process. Um, furthermore, President Warner and Director Eisner um, called out to get labor involved. As of now, I've had zero invites to meetings, and that frustrates me just a little bit. Although this morning, just as a side note, to, to Doug's credit, um, Mr. Kelsey's credit, sorry, mm -hmm. to Mr. Kelsey's credit, um, he said that I, I would be invited to meetings. So I just want to, I, I'll probably report next month, I want, to, I want follow up on that. I want right. follow through sure. on that. That's correct. Because it didn't happen last month. Um, so. Last month, Mr. Kelsey also came out in front of us to tell us there are 42 changes that he's going to make so that the rail alignment would be safer. The same month, little electronic tablet devices were included, were, were introduced to the rail operators to help improve on-time performance. The problem is, is that more than half of the rail operators that I talked to say the device is distracting to the present safe operation of their train. I have expressed my concerns to management and have had all of my concerns dismissed. Let me iterate, the very month that Mr. Kelsey said it is all about safety, he introduces an electronic tablet device that makes the alignment less safe. That's also frustrating to me, if, if, <laughs> if you're not getting it. Mr. Kelsey, I need you to follow through. If you haven't figured it out, I hate it when <coughs> people's words don't match their actions. Quite honestly, because of my position in the union and my knowledge, I expect to be a part of most everything that goes on where rail improvement is concerned. This is even more true since I've seen what has been coming out of your office with the bad numbers and the bad explanations that Howard, that, that Terrence talked about. You want to know why on time performance is increasing? Because operators that were less than a year when that was done are actually have more time in their seat because when you have more time in your seat, you, you operate the train better. That's why on time performance is, is going to get better. That's also why the rule violations are going to continue to go down. Let me offer another solution to you because uh, Director Eisner said, Maybe ATU International can help us out with some solutions. Last uh, e-board meeting, we actually had a, pre a presentation for, for a bus operator apprentice program. I think this could easily be moved to a rail operator apprentice program, much like the electricians do, much like the journeyman mechanics do. Um, I think that it, it actually has shown in, in other locals that this increases program retention. This, in this decreases absenteeism. This helps your bottom line and the safety of the system. This is just one of the ideas from A2 International that we can continue to work together on. I'm tired of being shut down, tired of being shut out, and I'm calling you to be true to your word and follow through. We're in this together. We need to move forward together. Okay, good comment.